Well, today we're gonna do a real world test of the DJI Mini 2 flight time. Stick around. Okay, first things first, DJI claims that the DJI Mini 2 will get a stated flight time of 31 minutes at 10 and a half miles per hour. Let's put that to the real world test. The first test is going to be a stationary in place test. We're gonna float the drone a few feet off the ground and see how long the battery will last on a full charge. The second test, we're gonna fly at that 10 and a half miles per hour average and see just how long the DJI Mini 2 lasts in a real world flight test. Let's take off. Take off. The home point has been there updated. Please check it on the map. So again, this is gonna be our stationary test. Let's go ahead and elevate it up a little bit. There we go. This is a fully charged battery. It says on the top right corner of the screen, 99%. Let's start the stopwatch. All right, so here we are 15 minutes into our stationary test. The drone is staying in its GPS position, which is also known as its home point. Doing awesome in that regards. According to the battery, we are at 38% life and nine minutes and 29 seconds of remaining flight time. Let's keep going. A low battery warning. Return to home promptly at four minutes and 23 seconds. Let's see how she does. All right, so now we're getting a critical low battery and that is at one minute and 52 seconds left on the battery. So you can actually start to hear, let's see if I can get that. You can start to hear the motors waning a little bit and it's uh it's starting to starting to pe peter out oh that's loud we're at 24 minutes on our stopwatch oh boy we're not even getting 31 minutes out of uh stationary let's see where we can go oh here we go low battery landing critical battery landing in five four three two critically low battery there it goes landing with less than one minute left that's it. All right, there we go. So our stopwatch is at 24 minutes and 25 seconds. That's where we ended up. Now you know. All right, so we finished the first test, which was the stationary test. Now we're on to the flying flight time test. So we got to go an average of 10 and a half miles, get my stopwatch going. I'm gonna go up higher altitude. Hopefully don't lose signal again. That is so weird. We are coming up on 10 minutes, as you can see on the screen. Yep, 10 minutes as in right now. We are at 59% battery. Um, 15 minutes left on the drone battery. And let's see, we're 15 miles per hour right now. We need to slow it down a bit. 10 and a half miles per hour average, right? Gotta keep that up. But doing pretty good. Got a little more than 50%, got 15 minutes. That'll push around the 25 mark. That's the same as if as the stationary test so far. Got five minutes left on the battery. According to this, 21% battery life. You can hear the drone over top. As soon as I get a low battery, there we go. So I'm gonna bring it home. You'll see us on the left side of the screen. Four minutes left on the battery. Let's see if we can keep it going a little bit. Let's see, keep them going. Not going 10 miles an hour, that's for sure. Just don't want to hit anyone. Battery surprise, surprise. The there. The See, it's doing seconds. a return to home. Can count down or I can cancel it. How long have we been flying? Been flying 21 minutes, 54 seconds. Real close, man. Within three or four minutes, it seems, of the stationary test. Three minutes left on the battery. We actually might get the 25 minutes out of this. Shocking. Two minutes and 37 seconds. Now I'm getting nervous. Come on, baby. Critically low battery. Critical low, okay, now we'll land her. There we go. Bring her home. Critically low battery. Done. 23 minutes and 45 seconds. That's amazing. To be able to fly and still get almost as much time as what I got with the stationary test. That shocks me. That actually, that actually shocks me. 
quick tip for you. So how do you know when to return home with your drone? The DJI Mini 2 is great at alerting you when the drone battery is low. The DJI Fly app will flash an initial message saying low battery. You can certainly ignore this first message as a secondary message will flash on the screen stating returning to home mode alongside a countdown that will automatically go into return to home mode. Now there is an ignore option, but I wouldn't do it for two reasons. The first reason is you run the risk of potentially having an accident or losing your drone altogether. The second reason is the lifespan of the battery. The longer you fly the drone, the lower you drain the battery, the shorter the lifespan. I just wouldn't do it. The batteries are not cheap. In the US alone, a replacement battery is around $55 USD. Okay, so if you keep flying, you are going to get a third message flashing on the screen. This time stating critical low battery landing now. I don't know about you, but for me, that's a very stressful message. And to be honest, I've been in this position a few times and each time I wish I wouldn't have pushed the drone so far. At the end of the day, you have to experience things for yourself and you just don't know what you don't know. But from my point of view, I do not recommend it. Well, there you have it, a real world test of the DJI Mini 2 flight time on one single fully charged battery. I hope what I shared with you in this video today was helpful. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. And stick around in the next video where I do a real world test of the DJI Mini 2 in extreme cold temperatures. Just how cold? You'll have to watch the video.